have enjoyed the building challenge that I did over the month of January, but I am so excited to be back in my survival world. I've missed it here. And even though I've missed it, I am very, very overwhelmed by the huge amount of things that needs to be done in this world. One of the many, many things that I need to do is run back to the end and get shulker boxes. Um, and we are going to place this ender chest somewhere in our house. I think down at the bottom of the stairs. Down in the basement. A good spot. We need to grab some elytra from the end. I need that. But I made an ice road extension from our base in the north over all the way to the end stronghold. So, let's pop right through here. And here we are. I forgot about the all-important pumpkin head. Please excuse me, we will be right back. All right, now we can much safely take on the Enderman. All right, so we're out here in the end, and I want to, I think, follow the path that I took before, and then, oh, there's a portal over there. You know what? We're gonna get some uh, ease, ease of travel modifications to our life here. Excuse me, sir. Oh, hello. Thank you, thank you. All right, now we have a faster mode of transport. And we go, uh, yoop. Oh, yes. Here we be. Why did he sound angry? It's fine, it's fine, I'm sure. So apparently you need some of these chorus flowers in order to uh, actually grow the plants and you have to like hit them, so. Oh, <laughs> I've got my arrows too. I'm so tempted to try ender pearling that gap, but <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, so after about four hours total in the end, including the last time I was out here, and now, I have found a grand total of exactly one end city, and it did not have a ship, and that was in the last episode. So I finally um, given up and used my seed in, in a chunk finder to find a location of an end city. Surprise, surprise, they are all very far away from me. But there is one in a generally directly northwest direction from me. So kind of out that way. All right, so it looks like the end city that we found last time is over that way, while the one with the ship that we're now trying to get to is over this way. And that does mean that we're gonna have to bridge across here. <sighs> okay. <gasps> there it is! My gosh, it's huge! <gasps> and there's the ship. Do I have water buckets? I do. Good foresight on my part. Uh-huh, that's definitely what that was. Alright, so we need to... Okay, run in here, probably break in the back again because I do not want to get shot by a shulker while outside of this. I totally should have brought a a shield. I just realized that. That's it's fine. Oh gosh. Whew. Okay. Okay. All right, folks. There are so many of these guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, I should be eating. No, 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 no. I haven't come this far to die.
Oh gosh. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna be a little bit more okay here. We're gonna eat. Ooh, lots of gold. Ooh, those are good pants. I'll take those, thank you. Hey, dude. Can I uh, take that shulker shell? Thank you, thank you. I'm not sure, like, where to actually go for, like, finding the boat. Do I have to, oh, there's a shulker there. Hi, dude. Like, is this something where, like, I know I'm gonna have to go outside, and I am nervous about that. But I'm not sure, oh gosh, where the boat actually lives. Where, where's, where's the boat? Where's the boat? There it is, out there. So I need to go out that way. And is there, aha, yes there is. So, I'm thinking, I'm just gonna jump right out here and run up this way real quick. And, hi dude, can I kill you please? Thank you. There was a shulker shell, good. Gosh. Okay, okay. That's enough. Oh gosh. That hurt. Well, I'm hoping that I can spot the ship from here maybe? There it is. All right, we're gonna go down as fast as we can. And we do have a dude up at the top here. So let's see if we can't take him out. <gasps> yes, we did! Good, good, good. Awesome sauce. Ooh. XP, oh gosh. So our boat is gonna be out one of these sides. Let's take a look. There it is. Oh, I almost fell myself all the way down there. Now, the hope is that I can get myself out there without being yeeted by one of these dudes. Ship is very much out above the void too. And there is a shulker outside it. He, there are a couple of shulkers outside of it. Not sure I'm confident enough in my ender pearling abilities. No. So I think you can only shoot them. Okay, so that dude's dead. I think you can only shoot them when they're like open. And he's dead. Cool. And those are the only two dudes that I see. So hopefully we can get over there without any issue. Yes, 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 yes. Let's grab this shulker shell if we can. Come on. Yes. Awesome sauce. Okay. Oh, we need to get the dragon head too. But let's uh run in here before Oh. Always always grab the uh brewing stands. Those are helpful. Oh, hello, good sir. Yes. More shulker shells. And do you see this, you guys? Do you see this? It's the electric! Oh my gosh! I got it! I got it! I got it! Ooh, diamond horse armor. I'll take that. Oh my gosh, guys! <laughs> Alright, we're going to immediately just stick some of these things in here. I do also want to get the dragon's head, but I am going to equip the elytra because that's kind of out there in the middle of a lot of open space and I am nervous about that this is very very much over the void so like we are gonna make a pretty decent platform here just to make sure that I do not fall off or drop this dragon head cuz like those all suck as options <gasps> and I got the dragon head well, there we go. That's a decent haul. I'm okay with this. Alrighty. Now, we're just going to grab
grab all this and bring it with us. And, uh, well, now we have to find a gateway. Which can take just as long as finding an end city from experience. Look at my elytra. Look how cute it looks. I love the elytra with this skin especially. This is the cutest thing. <gasps> I'm in love! Best day ever! I can fly, I can fly. You know, there is one thing that every good wings person should do in Minecraft as soon as they get their wings. And that is grabbing some unbreaking three and mending for their wings. So over here in our village, we have a library that has been forming. There is our unbreaking three dude. And we do have a mending guy somewhere. Where is he? Mending. There he is. Okay. So he's got 32 emeralds. He's got 45. Oh my gosh. Well, I still need to get unbreaking on these wings, but uh, I, 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 need, I need a break from villagers for now. But something else that I need to do this episode is just kind of get a list down of the different things that I need to do. I'm very overwhelmed by all of the things that I want to do, all of the projects that I want to finish. And I am going to write them right here on this board behind me. Let me get a list going and I'll see you in just a second. Things look so much less overwhelming when you write them out in a list. So up here in our top left corner is the building section. And I have a few different projects that I want to do. But I think um, some of the most important are just finishing off the building projects I have started in like the northern area and that base and then coming over here and like making an actual house somewhere in this area and fortifying that village as well. As far as farms go, I think these are going to be the ones that I work on over the next few episodes. One thing that I am thinking about is, of course, we've made it to the end and I was thinking about building an Ender Ender as an XP farm. However, I just made a really awesome Guardian farm over in uh, the server that I play on. And I love it. And that thing gives so much XP. So I'm kind of thinking, like, I like the drops better from a Guardian farm. And, like, there's no real reason for an Ender Ender other than XP. And if the Guardian farm can do that... Uh, why not just go with that? So let me know what you think in the comments, but I think I'm leaning towards just doing a guardian farm. Uh, the top right corner here is gear, and you can't see it very well, but it, um, the list is villagers, netherite, XP farm. And I think those are all things that I really need to get going very soon. So I'm planning to do kind of just an open fortified village type thing without doing any of the zombie curing or anything um in this world with this this villager setup at least for now i might do the zombie curing at some point i don't know um but i also need to get netherite and um i i have tried to like keep the spoilers for 1.20 to a minimum um but i've heard that netherite is going to be really hard to get and i'm not sure if i should just go look for it now i'm not sure how updates work i've never gone through a minecraft update so uh i would love to hear y'all's opinion on that too should i go looking for netherite like as soon as possible um or is that something that I can wait for until 1.20? I haven't gone through a lot of the nether, so that's kind of what I'm concerned about, is that, like, the parts of the nether that update. I, I have no idea how finding netherite is even going to work in 1.20. And then we just have the little miscellaneous area, um, a large part of which is exploring. Um, we kind of have a little ring around an, a little ocean area right now that I've explored, um, but I'd love to go past that. I still need to find a dark oak forest. I need to find a mushroom island. And I feel like going past the desert would be great for finding the mushroom island, especially. Um, and also mine shafts and finding some deep dark. I, I feel like those are all things that I really want to and need to explore soon. However, as far as like exploring the world goes, I also don't know 
if I should wait for the update because as I understand it, again, the areas that I haven't explored are the ones that are going to update. So I don't know if I should just wait to do this until after the update, especially for like stuff past the desert and like within the desert that I have. Um, or if I should just go for it now. Again, let me know what you think down in the comments. All right, well, I was collecting materials for my moss farm and it went pretty quick and I got everything except for dispensers because you need bows for those. And you remember what happened last time I needed dispensers? Gosh. So I decided to go ahead and upgrade this andesite monstrosity that's been towering over my farm area and uh, turn it into an actually functioning mob farm. Um, I copied the design from a Gemini Tay video, um, her, her Skyblock series that she's doing right now. This is, this is what it looks like and I'm gonna put a top on it right about now after I take a nap. Alrighty, there we go. It's finished and it's actually the proper height inside now. <laughs> Somehow I always seem to make two billion mistakes when building something but I think this should be good. It's so ugly. Eventually, I would like to move this like underground, um, but since it was here, I decided to build on it. All right, while I've been trying to figure out the mob farm and just kind of figure out what's going on there, I decided that in order to continue on with the moss farm, I should probably just go hunting for some skeletons myself. So, uh, Wish me luck, and man, I can't wait to have a house over here. This is such cramped quarters. Hello, Mr. Spider. Can I have some string? Oh, thank you. Awesome sauce. I just saw somebody out of the corner of my eye. Oh, it's a baby zombie. That's the worst. No, no, no. Go away. Thank you. Ugh, hate those things. Can I have your, can I have your bow, please? That would be really nice. Thank you. Apparently not. Oh, there's that creeper. He came closer. Oh, that's another creeper. Generally just avoid those guys. Oh no, <laughs> two baby zombies. This is the worst. This is the worst possible scenario. Right there. Ah! Ah! Die, 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 die. Thank you. All right. Oh, creeper's after me too. And let's get you guys. Oh gosh. Ouch. Oh, oh, oh. Too many, too many, too many. Okay. We're gonna shoot you. Boom. And a boom. And a boom. Get some looting there. And that creeper's after me, so we'll take him out. Do. And then we'll run around. Find our loot eat some things hopefully wow i survived a night of monster hunting that's impressive got a couple of arrows stuck in my stuck in my body here but you know it's all good now let's inspect our loot okay so we didn't get a single bow that's what i was really after but we did get a bunch of string so even though i don't like turning it to that uh, particular um, use, we can go ahead and use that. It's fine. All right, I've picked our spot. We're going to put our moss farm right above this side entrance to our iron farm, and we'll probably have a staircase going down from there into that. Uh, we're going to make this look good because from here on out, I am not standing for ugly things, okay? You guys could keep me to that. All right, let's roll this time lapse and get building.
That is indeed a mossy monstrosity behind me. My goodness. There was a large amount of blood, sweat, and real life tears poured into this thing, but it's finally working, looking good with the little pavilion set up around it, and it's, it's producing uh, not a lot of bone meal yet because I am currently collecting various um, items and it's mostly just seeds going into here right now. But as soon as these chests fill up, it will be churning out a large amount of bone meal. This design is by Ray's Works, and um, the I'll put the video link in the description. There's one more thing we need to do today, and it is a very important thing. Specifically, it's finding a couple of these good friends to have in our home. <gasps> he loves me. Do we have another? Do we have another round? Can we get a, can we get a couple doggos? Oh, I love you too. Oh, I can't go through there, bud. Do you have another friend? You do have another friend. Yes, I will give your friend a bone if I can get up here. Hi, buddy. Oh, you love me too. Well, we got these two home safe and sound. If you want to uh, help name them, head over to the short that I'm releasing at the same time and drop some name suggestions down in the comments. You know, I've always been more of a cat person than a dog person, but somehow as an adult, the only animal I have in my home is a dog and I really love the Minecraft doggos. They make me happy. Thank you for coming along on today's episode. It was not without its tears or technical difficulties, but we made it and we made a moss farm and we've got all sorts of things coming up in the future. I uh, am looking at the durability on my tools going down and I'm thinking I'm going to need an XP farm real soon. So uh, let me know what your opinion is on the Ender Ender versus the Guardian Farm. I'm going to have to build the Guardian Farm anyways, so that'll be first regardless. But let me know what you think about that. I'm curious what others' opinions are. I will see you all for the next episode, but until then, have a good one and bye!